Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Ozlander's Break, son. This is going to be on YouTube as break number 549. This is our third 2017 Panini Elite six box half case random divisional break. A couple rules we'll go over right quick since we got uh, one person that's been in a break in a while with us and one that's new to the room. Uh, Janice and Ray, uh, thank you guys for jumping in the break. Appreciate y'all. If we have any autographs or relics that are duels, triples, quads, anything like that, you must own 100% of the card for it to go to you outright. There is a no majority rules rule in place in the room, meaning if we had a triple and you own two of the team, somebody else on one, it still goes to random. Everybody gets a fair shot at the card. The only way to take a card outright that's a multi-team card is to own every team on the card. Now, there are a bunch of cards in this, like this one happens to be non-numbered. There are some numbered two or three different types, maybe three or four different types of parallels. Uh, this one just happens to be Tiles Uniforms. Charles Woodson last played for the Raiders. Jabril Peppers plays for the Browns. That would be the two teams. Um, on these type of cards, I will roll a, roll a single die. One, two, three will go to the team on the left. Four, five, six will go to the team on the right. If we come across uh, some that are either non-numbered or the same number, and so we have two of these that are numbered to 299. And we've already rolled the dice on one. I'll just make sure the other one goes to the other team. If we have any that are non-numbered, same way. Now, if we have one that's numbered to 299 and one that's numbered to 49, we'll roll on both. But if we have cards that are equal, I'll just make sure both teams gets one. So that's how we'll do the multiplayer cards and stuff. Let's go ahead and roll our virtual die. We'll go into screen share mode here. And anything but a two is always. If we roll a two, if we roll snake eyes, we will re-roll. It's always three and up on the randomizer on random.org. We will use the same number to randomize the divisions, the participants, and if we were to have any randomizers for cards. And that number is going to be eight this time around. And we will randomize our divisions first eight times, starting out in alphabetical order, AFC East, North, South, and West, NFC East, North, South, and West. And seven, and eighth and final time. See, we've gone eight times. AFC South up top, NFC East on the bottom. I'll plug those into our spreadsheet here. And now we'll randomize the participants eight times and match those up with our divisions. These spots are down in the order they were taken. Dr. Rocket, aka Joel, aka RocketFan86. Ray for two. Once again, new to the breaks. I appreciate you. Mr. Josh, thanks for jumping in the breaks with us. Uh, Miss Janice, Jay Griff, the next spot. Thanks for jumping in, Janice. Brother Jesse, Radar0311. Kane's fan Bobby Boy swooped in here toward the end and grabbed one of Jesse's spots. He's at number six. And then Jesse has spots seven and eight. Randomizing eight times. Good luck, everybody. If anybody wants to trade after the randomizer, there'll be a little bit of time while I'm opening up the first box. Um, you don't necessarily have to trade the entire division. If maybe you just want to trade one of the teams you have for one of the teams that somebody else has, we'll be opening the trades for a little while. So let me know if anybody gets anything confirmed. And eighth and final time, we have Kane's fan Bob up top and Rocket fan, or excuse me, Radar on the bottom. My bad. Match those up here in spreadsheet. Let me make this a little bigger. Where y'all can see a little better. And we have Kane's fan Bobby Boy with the AFC South. That's a good one this year. That's why I didn't want to pick the spot. <laughs> Uh, Radar with the AFC East. 
Dr. Rocket with the AFC West. Josh with the NFC South and the NFC West. Got them Panthers, son. Possible McCaffrey. And Janice with the NFC North, which has been a good one. Was last night. And it's not, actually. And Jesse has the AFC North, which that's the one that was so good last night. And NFC East. Let me switch back over here where I can see the chat. Keep in mind that anytime I'm in screen share mode, since I'm using the one computer set up here, that I can't see what y'all are saying in the chat at the time. For anybody that may want to check out a checklist of the product to see what's possible for your for your teams, there is the checklist, and also if it helps anybody, here's the NFL standings to see the breakdown of exactly what teams are on what division. Don't forget, we do have three personal boxes of Elite left. If anybody's interested, in those after the break, and I'll be getting more Elite for more divisional breaks and more personal boxes ordered tomorrow for next week. I'll make sure everything gets out safely and securely to your door over the weekend. Appreciate sure everybody jumping in this thing. I'll go ahead and get slicing and dicing while you guys are working on some trades. Good luck, everybody. Appreciate y'all. <laughs> Bobby boy, I just saw your I am. I just posted the checklist for you there, buddy. If you want to check out, see what that team has. See, we had a trade bucks for Cowboys confirmed on both sides. Mr. Josh, Ray is trading Radar Jesse his bucks. And Josh says he is a Cowboys fan. He's going to take the Cowboys in trade. Get that written down confirmed for you guys. Bob proposes the trade Colts for Redskins for Jesse. And Jesse says, sure. to Radar and Redskins to Kane's fan Bobby Boy, his PC team. Got you, Phil.
All right, anybody else for a last minute trade here before we get into it? Good luck, everybody. Appreciate y'all once again. If there's any of these uh, last three boxes I still have left, y'all might see me pop on briefly tomorrow or Saturday. If not, I will see y'all back again Monday afternoon. Last couple of nights we went live around 7 Eastern. Seemed to be a pretty good time. As always, uh, you can find out the most up-to-date information on the Facebook group. All links are down below. Also, I have an email list. If you want to be a part of it, let me know. <clears throat> and Josh says he needs a McCaffrey in his life. Let's see what we can make happen. Good luck, everybody. <clears throat> Don't forget I will add this up on YouTube, and I will, will post some of the highlights with tonight's two breaks on the Facebook group, Instagram, and Twitter. All the info for those if you want to follow along or down below. Right out the gate, we have a face-to-face -face Michael Crabtree and Richard Sherman. This one is numbered 82 of 299. Might as well Joel, everybody else has. <laughs> one, two, three, Raiders, four, five, six. Seahawks. That one is going to the Seahawks. This thing covered one of our autographs when I picked up the stack. Tidal Wave, Terrell Davis. Not numbered insert for the Broncos. And here's our pen pal autograph already. Black Ink, Donta Foreman. Not a bad one there. Donta Foreman for the Texans. By the way, we'll do a recap of all the relics and autographs at the end of the break. That way, if you happen to miss part of the break, you can always come back and see the recap at the end of the video. So set through the entire break. Donta Foreman for the Texans. Pretty nice one there. Their new running back. Next up, 44 of 81. Kenny Galloway. Aspirations. Ricky for the Lions. For the sake of time, y'all, I'm going to uh, top load all the numbered cards after the break and make this probably 20, 30 minutes longer if I top load them as we go. We'll top load the uh, autographs as we go, though. 23 of 25, Trent Taylor for the 49ers. And we have a, another dice roll here. Marcel Darius and Jonathan Allen. Jonathan Allen, I believe, was not numbered. Let me look these two up right quick. Is Darius still with the Bills? Marcel Darius is Bills, and Jonathan Allen, I think, is Redskins. Okay, that was great. <clears throat> One, two, three, Bills. Four, five, six, Redskins. I didn't see it before I rolled the dice. Going to the Redskins anyway. <clears throat> Jesse said, give it to the Redskins. Give it to Bobby Boy. And there's our autograph. I uncovered a minute ago there. Speaking of the Redskins and Mr. Jonathan Allen, turn of the century, 26 of 99, Jonathan Allen. Hey, Miss Vicky, how's it going? Fancy seeing you here. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm doing all right. Hanging in there. Home field advantage. Cami Cam. Oh, Jesse just got one of these number to five a little bit ago. 
268 of 499, Juju Smith Schulster for the Steelers. Ezekiel Elliott Spellbound, 79 of 99 on that one for the Cowboys. I know that's right. There's a Zeke for you. Those are pretty cool. Three ninety one of four ninety nine. Zach Cunningham for the Texans rookie. Fifty four of ninety nine. Corey Coleman for the Brownies. We still got a relic coming up in this box. We got our two autographs. Alvin Kamara for the Saints, rookie elitist. Those are non numbered. Fired up. Some of the coolest cards in the set, I think. Des Bryant for the Cowboys. Pretty cool insert set there. That one is numbered 224 of 299. 41 of 99, Samaj P. Ryan. For the Redskins, a lot of people saying he's going to be really good. 48 of 99, Robert Davis for the Redskins. Bruce Smith, man coverage, not numbered for the Bills. Yeah, definitely a skin in the box on this one. Lots of red skins. And there's our relic. It is a numbered one. Pretty nice patch on that one. 20 of 25 for the Saints. Brandon Cooks, three color on the left and one color on the right. Elite coverage for Josh, a.k.a. Ray and NFC South. Little chunky patch. That is pretty cool. One eleven of one forty nine. Donald Pumphrey for the Eagles. Two eighty four of four ninety nine. Mitchell Trubisky. Oh, Mitch. For the Bears, the last one in box one. Probably a few bucks there, even numbered to four ninety nine for that one. Who are y'all talking about the base? Who are y'all talking about? Oh, Brandon Cooks. Yeah, he'll go to the Patriots. Patriots logo on that one. But I didn't show the back of this one. His base card, since he was traded to the Patriots, will go to the Patriots, but we always go by the team name and logo on the card. That is kind of odd. They must have had these made way before the trade, obviously. So Brandon Cook's numbered cards will go to the Patriots because it's Patriots logo. But this one has. We always go uh, Josh by the logo on the card. Obviously, they must have made the base after they made the hits. So that one does go to the Saints. It also says New Orleans Saints at the bottom. If we run across one of those base, I'll show it. Though it sure enough has Patriots logo on it. So anything numbered or whatever of that will go to the Patriots. <laughs> had me thinking about for a minute. I'm like, who are they talking about? I was like, oh yeah. That happens uh, sometimes with these early releases, for sure. Yeah, it's whatever team logo and team names on the card. It's always, they never have both team names or logos. It's always one or the other. A lot of times they'll say, like, trade it to, and it'll be on the side of the card, and he'll be in the Saints uniform. They'll say the Patriots logo there and name. That's how the base is. But you're definitely right. There's uh, That's why I always try to hit a little, little, uh, 
this sentence is about the rule that begin every break, just so people know what the rules are in the room. I actually got a little uh, thing on the website. There's a page that you know, goes over all that. Like we'll be doing Trinity here in a couple weeks, which is always a big product for us, and they're all in college uniforms. So it goes to the team that they're currently with which isn't necessarily the team they're drafted by. By the time that stuff comes out, say somebody may have been drafted by the Patriots, but they may play for the Cowboys now. So we kind of keep that up to date. And it goes to whatever team they're currently with. A little funky. It doesn't have any the logos. Kind of just stay on top of two alls in the set where they're at. All right, box number two. Let's get it. Field Vision, Adam Vinatieri. I don't think we've seen that one yet. For the Colts. Pretty cool looking card. That one is numbered 75 of 299. Number 428 of 499, Jeremy McNichols for the Bucks. Wow, short numbered 8 of 15, Kenneth Dixon for the Ravens. 8 of 15. That one's going to have a tough time focusing on with that funky design. It's going to be about possible, you guys, for me to show you that number on that one. There we go. 8 of 15, Kenneth Dixon. Hope it's good there. Super short print there. Mitchell Trubisky, Ricky Elitis. Those are non numbered. And there's a relic, old school relic. Pro Bowl standout, Tony Dorsett. You can kind of tell that's an old, old jersey there. And that one is surprisingly not numbered, but game used. Game used on that one. Number 61 of 99, Josh Malone for the Bengals. Number 293 of 499, Demarcus Walker for the Broncos. And turn of the century for the Eagles, 50 of 99, Corey Clement. Corey Clement autograph. You know who might be interested in that one, Jesse. I ain't got to say anymore. Fifty of ninety nine. Numbered 5 of 99, one off his jersey number, Dak Prescott. Charles Woodson and Jabril Peppers, this one is a numbered one, I believe. No, it's not. Did we have this one already? No, we hadn't had this one this break. So, uh, Charles Woodson. This was my example at the beginning from the last case of what it was. Charles Woodson Raiders, Jabril Peppers, Browns. One, two, three, Raiders. Four, five, six, Browns. That one is going to the Raiders for the two. Still looking for our own card in this one. Pretty cool there. Hadn't seen that one yet. Kevin Green, man coverage. For the Rams. Gonna get some focus, y'all. Yeah, we got a cool group of guys that hang out here, Josh. 
277 of 499, Marlon Humphrey for the Ravens and Gals. Tom Brady spellbound. Get a few bucks there. 69 of 99. For the sake of time, I'm not showing the numbers on a lot of these higher numbered cards. I normally would if it was a shorter break, but with this break already being over an hour, I'm just trying to cut down on the time so it doesn't get so uh, drawn out. Spellbound, Julio Jones. That one is 254 of 299. When uh, we start doing the higher end stuff for the less amount of cards, of course, I'll focus in and show every single number. Home field advantage, Peyton Manning, non-numbered insert. Numbered one of 15, one of 15 for the Eagles, Sidney Jones. Couldn't be all over that one. Not tough to see there, but one of 15. 34 of 149, Eric Decker for the Jets. And here's our pen pal. Good luck, everybody. Black Ink, Chris Godwin for the Bucks. You guys with those trades getting some PC hits. Been plenty of Cowboys, Bucks, and Redskins so far. Just need a few Colts now. And last little bit here, Box 2. Title Waves, Adrian Peterson. Twenty two of ninety nine, Malik McDow McDowell, excuse me. For the Seahawks. Just in case somebody may not have been here earlier or listening, we'll have more Elite next week. We'll do some more of these six box random divisionals, and I'll have personal boxes as well. I do still have three personal boxes available from our first case. This is actually out of our second case, these six. We did the first half of it earlier tonight. We can always break it down and do a three box divisional, I guess. Be open to that if anybody wanted to. But don't be surprised, maybe I pop on tomorrow or Saturday for a little bit. I'm going to be going out of town. I just found out today, this weekend, so it kind of changed my casting plans. I was kind of the same way, Josh, except I was a Steelers fan. My, uh, my nephew is a huge Cowboys fan, though. I still kind of follow the Cowboys, too. He's such a big fan. We're more like brothers than uncle and nephew. He's 30 and I'm 37, so we're not that far apart in age. We kind of grew up together. He actually named uh, one of his sons Troy. That's how big of a fan he is. And he just had another kid, I guess it's been about 8, 9, 10 months ago now. Coming up on a year. He wanted to name him Emmett. I think the rest of the family kind of talked him out of it. His, his name's Wade. <laughs> right, man, don't name me Emmett. I'm like an old Dust Bowl farmer name. Yeah, we had him last night. Bye, buddy. Including this one, that was, you know, three breaks ago. It's hard for him. I even haven't sorted it out yet, so I'm not sure who hit that. 
I had to look back and was it you that had him or are you saying that somebody else did it? I'm not even sure, buddy. We're going through a couple thousand cards since then. <laughs> Cordria Tankersley, 31 of 70 for the Dolphins. Oh, did you have the red skins? Nice. I forgot. I thought you were here to see all that one. 25 of 29, number to jersey number, status, DeMarco Murray for the Titans. Yeah, this one's going to take me like a whole whole shift to get sorted out and see exactly who all had what. Quite a bit involved in this stuff. 47 of 499, Jake Butt for the Broncos. Cam Chancellor, man coverage, non numbered. 245 of 499, Juju Smith Schulster <clears throat> for the Steelers. Blank. And Maurice Pouncey and Mike Pouncey, Family Ties, numbered 6 of 99. These are pretty cool. 1, 2, 3 will be Steelers, and 4, 5, 6 will be Dolphins. Get it up. That one is going to the Dolphins. It was a 6. Fired up, Dak Prescott. Cool ass insert set right there. That one is numbered 80 of 299. Home field advantage, Landon Collins, non numbered insert for the Giants. 8 of 25. This is the third Aaron Rodgers to 25 or less we pulled in the last, what, four, five boxes? Five boxes. We pulled two to fifteen in the last break. Eight of twenty-five. Cool design there for them Packers. And here is our own card pen pal. Good luck, everybody. Black ink. Evan Ingram for the Giants. We got a buddy Justin that is chomping at the bit. Come back and break with us. Used to hang out a lot. Ready for Trinity. He's a big Giants fan. That's one of the guys he'll be chasing. Hopefully he's in Trinity for him. Evan Ingram. Tidal Waves. Ladane Tomlinson. Non-numbered for the Chargers. Aspirations, 33 of 73, Jordan Lewis for the Cowboys. And there's another autograph in this box. 29 of 99, Ed Cannon. I got to think we got to have a vet autograph coming up here. I think there's still one hiding in those other three boxes out of the other case, too. Katie Cannon for the 49ers. <clears throat> Nine of ninety-nine, Le'Veon Bell for the Steelers. Adrian Peterson, which will be Saints now, and Joe Mixon. Where did Joe Mixon go? See a Bengal? I think he's a Bengal. Ray said first auto son. The 49ers. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So, one, two, three, Saints, four, five, six, Bengals. That one is non numbered. Going to the Bengals. It was a five.
Julio Jones, <clears throat> Spellbound, 86 of 299. <clears throat> 51 of 499, Zach Cunningham for the Texans. Rookie. Wow, 2 of 15, Dalvin Cook. We'll go ahead and throw that one in the top loader. That's a pretty big one there for the Vikings. Two of fifteen, Dalvin Cook. Very nice. Jonathan Allen, rookie elitist, non numbered. And Andrew Luck is going to be our relic as a one color, non numbered Pro Bowl standout for the Colts. Right on Janice. Uh, Dalvin Cook will be a few bucks there if you're reselling it for sure. We had a really nice patch of luck last night, number to five. This one is player worn. I said it, I said it the other break. This is that's the only complaint I have about Elite. It's a nice product, especially for hobby shops or for personal boxes. On here, just uh, kid friendly, lots of cards, lots of inserts, lots of variety of stuff. Yeah, you know, most people on breakers these days are more inclined to the really high end stuff where there's you know no base, all autographs or all autographs and everything anyway. We'll be seeing some of that stuff later on. I'd like a good mix. I'd like to see these products early on, seeing this rookie class. They did a great job with Elite though, just then I know Jan said something about the base design earlier, not just the base design, but all the inserts too. I like them all. I wish they would have done the relics a little better. I've seen some nice ones though. With so many non numbered. Seems like there's, a, for, from what we've seen from the first couple cases anyway, there's at least two or three relics per case that are numbered to 25 or less. Well, maybe it's just two to 25 or less. So Josh, we haven't talked a whole lot, man. We just met what last night. Who do you uh, PC mainly? What's your main main guys that you collect? I know you said you're a Panthers fan. Used to be a Cowboys fan. We got a massive Panthers collection, man. I have to share with you sometime. Jesse just hooked me up with a Curtis Samuel last night out of a week. Add to the old collection. <clears throat> Mostly baseball, I hear you. I got you, man. Dipping them toes in. I do Freddie Freeman and Will Myers, but I don't do a lot of baseball anymore, just very occasionally. I got a little sm small collections, you know, 20 some autographs each of those guys. This guy's Will Myers, you know, of course, you know, is a Thomasville boy, since you're from Thomasville. Yeah, I hear you. Base baseball's hot right now with the rookie class and all. Especially if you're into flipping and reselling on eBay to recoup some of the funds you spend. 
Baseball is definitely hot right now. It's just because football is out of season, new draft class and all. Yeah, I remember you said something about that one last night. That's a massive hit, dude. Forty-seven of four ninety-nine, Kevin King for the Packers. I have one of my buddies does eBay consignment. I, since I'm into the breaks and everything, don't have a ton of time to do eBay too. Keep up with it all. I send in my stuff and sign stuff on eBay. Von Miller, home field advantage, non-numbered for the Broncos. 499 of 499, last one made, Gerald Everett for the Rams. That's a huge card. All this stuff is a spin up base I'm going to toss there. Um, all this stuff is time sensitive on the resale market, though. The faster you can get it listed and get it sold if you're selling them better normally. Odell Beckham Jr. Spellbound. That one is 8 of 49. There's exceptions to that. Some guys will, will gain over time, but most of the time the new stuff is the hottest stuff, breaking wise or you know, singles wise. Family ties, Peyton and Eli. We haven't seen that one yet. 234 of 299. 123 would be Colts. 456. Will be Giants. That one is going to the Giants. It was a four. Kind of a cool one there. I'm going to toss a couple more of these base guys that are gal that are so beat up. Tidal Waves, Marshawn Lynch. Uh, numbered. Got another base. Speed all the hell. And here is our pen pal, Black Ink. Nathan Peterman. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. Nathan Peterman for the Bills. Crazy looking autograph here. He's all over the place with his auto. Yeah, that's, that's typical, Josh, man, listed for, especially bigger cards like that, listed for double what you might actually take. I know there's at least one card shop in Hawaii for guys talk about. You'd uh, save a ton on a big card like that in fees and everything if you could sell it local. There's three. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. There's a guy named Keith, which is, is my name, obviously, that uh, owns one of the shops in Hawaii. I didn't know there was three. But, um, he's a pretty cool guy. Just talked to him some. It's been a couple of years. I'm trying to get some focus back here. Dang, nice radar. I honestly can't remember, man. It was one of the. There used to be. There used to be a lot more uh, traffic on this site when I first started breaking. Just to give you an idea, there was probably only about a dozen people that that did cast and did breaks. There's always been people that did YouTube breaks and stuff. But as far as when I started, there wasn't even a Breakers TV. It was Vaughn Live, and then they made Breakers just for Breakers. That uh, spin off of Vaughn. So, I mean, you get on here now, and there's 50 or 60 people casting about every night, at least 40. It's totally different nowadays. They used to, everybody used to know everybody. 140 of 149, Big Ben. So that's Ben, shoot, they're not telling how many people that I've, you know, met since then. It's hard to remember. I just remember his name's Keith, and he owned a shop in Hawaii. He was a pretty cool guy. 18 of 25, C.J. Bethard. 49ers, former Iowa Hawkeye, 
Charles Woodson and Jabril Peppers. I believe we had this one we did. The other one went to the Raiders, so we'll give this one to the Browns. Non-numbered, so same numbered. That way both teams get one of that one. And we have an upside-down turn-of-the-century autograph. 83 of 99, Zay Jones. So I guess Zay Jones signed a bunch of stickers, but the own cards, he didn't get to them all because he's a redemption on the pen pals. That East Carolina boy, breaking all them records last year, wide receiver Zay Jones, 83 of 99. Former Pirate, now Bill. Yeah, that's how I was, Josh. I found out about Vaughn the same way through an eBay break. Oh, it most definitely is gambling, sir. Most definitely is. There's a bending of the rules. If you'll look down below my video where I, you know, have all my links and stuff, there's an exception in the in the rules. It's uh, raffles are technically illegal. So people do that for single cards and stuff. As long as everybody gets something, whether or not those people, you know, want, want it or not, technically everybody wins or it is. There's a there's a hitch there. <laughs> it's one of those things, I guess it's so widespread it'd be hard to control, you know. But it is most definitely gambling. 282 of 499, Chad Hansen. That's why when you see like when the break, when the people that do eBay breaks when they're listed on there, they say you know, you're guaranteed to get a business card signed by the breaker. As long as everybody gets a package, it's technically fair and on the up and up. 107 of 149, Terrell Pryor for the Browns. Listing breaks on eBay would probably help our room as far as getting a lot more people through here. But like you just seen the guy pop in and make a comment on something that's irrelevant and just kind of being negative. You get a whole lot more of that and a whole lot of just riffraff. And as long as we can keep it going without doing that, I will. Rookie elitist Mike Williams. Although there's been some several times, especially the last few months, it's been super slow with no football products coming out. Thoughts crossed my mind. Yeah, my bad. I don't know why I said Browns. He is going to the Redskins. My bad. He was traded to the Redskins. Redskins logo. Misspoke there. Odell Beckham Spellbound. Another one of those. This one's 17 of 299. Alvin Kamara, 71 of 149. For the Saints. Uh, I didn't know that was the same. I thought that was a different one yesterday. Here you go, but yeah. I'm not sure why some people get a kick out of just, you know, popping in and saying random stuff, but some people do. 70 of 99, Chad Hansen for the Jets. That the, the more you open yourself up, the more that you'll get. Ray Lewis, man coverage. A lot of these newer breakers, that's the only way they were able to fill any breaks at all is to do the eBay thing. We got them started. Elite, elite coverage, <clears throat> excuse me, two color. Player worn Derrick Henry, that one is non numbered for the Titans. And the last few cards here in this box. 106 of 149, Paxton Lynch for the Broncos. I have to keep a lookout for old Brandon Cooks, which I don't think we've had any number of Brandon Cooks and Pharrell Pryor when I do my sorting. Get into box number five, y'all. Yeah.
I'm glad this product is as good as it is. A nice little way over here till Trinity. The gold standard is set to come out the day after Trinity too. I don't know if you guys realize who else checked out the Islanders Break Sun release list and who hasn't, but we'll have a couple of cases of that too, so we we'll have some options. I have a feeling there's so many people that's going to show back up for Trinity. We'll kind of be focused on it, but we will have gold standard going on too. Was there a branding kit there? I don't remember that one. There are a lot of Larry Fitzgerald relics in this. We pulled like three out of this product so far. Let's see if there's one of those in the last couple of years. We had those two big autographs in the first half of this. I still think there ought to be a vet autograph. We had Dante Foreman, Jonathan Allen, two decent ones there. And Dante Foreman kind of got the door open to him just like Deshaun Watson does there in Houston. It's up to him now. Get that roster spot. I have three left, buddy. Three left from the first case. Was off in the second one. If anybody's interested, we can do something with them after this break. I'm probably going to be so tied up sorting and getting everything in packages tomorrow. I doubt I'll have time to jump on, but I might if we still have them. All right, let's see what's in box number five. Come on. Good luck, everybody. Joe Mixon going to the Bengals, non numbered elitist. And here's our pen pal right off, right out the gate. It is a dual pen pal. Good luck, everybody. I think. Oh, maybe not a dual. My bad. Samaj P. Ryan. My bad, not a dual. But a pretty nice one there for Bobby Boy. I think he just said he hit one earlier, so that is his second one. Going underwater. I grew up with a guy went to high school with that joined the Navy and was an underwater uh, welder. And I think he still does that for a living of some sort. Got some good money there. Used to be one of my buddies back in high school. 56 of 99, Josh Malone for the Bengals. Six of twenty-five, Doug Baldwin with that cool design. Might be my favorite design in the product, other than those inserts where the guys are—I can't think of what they're called—but where the guys are like screaming, the, the emotional cards. <laughs> I like these with this wave look. Look real cool. Six of twenty-five, Doug Baldwin. Main coverage. James Harrison, the Steelers, and turn of the century for the Chargers. There's a nice one. Mike Williams, 8 of 25. <laughs> Should have gave the P Ryan a little <laughs> as well. <laughs> Two nice autographs in this box. That's that's probably the nicest box overall we've seen. Two really solid autos. Oh, wow. Really, Janice? I didn't know that. Dang. 8 of 25. Mike Williams. Mike Williams is a stud, y'all. 
Oh, I got you, Bobby boy. Bob says he's gonna go ahead and call dibs on one of the loose boxes. Left. 433 of 499, Evan Ingram for the Giants. <clears throat> Family Ties, Sterling Sharp and Shannon Sharp. Pretty cool there. That one will be numbered 17 of 49. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. And 1, 2, 3 will be the Packers. 4, 5, 6 will be the Broncos. It is a 6, so that one is going to the Broncos. We still got a relic coming in this one. Got our two autographs. There we go. The fired up is what I was just trying to think of. Besides the fired up, I like the ones the 25 that have that design with the like wave deal. Fired up's pretty tough to beat. Those are cool as hell. 222 of 299 on that one. Mr. Dakota Prescott. Seemed like we had a long run there with nothing. Did I miss something? Oh, James Connor. Thought I would look old Mr. Connor. Cool story to this guy. From Penn State 168 of 499. Mr. James Connor. 56 of 86. Aspirations, Andy Dalton. On field advantage, Aaron Rodgers, non numbered. Spellbound, Julio Jones, 130 of 299. Another really cool insert this year. One thirty three of one forty nine Stefan Diggs for the Vikings. Thirty eight of eighty seven Jordy Nelson status for the Packers. Now I didn't realize I'd uncovered a relic. We do have a nice relic coming up. Titleways Jerome Bettis, non number. And we got a couple of base that are all dinged up. I'm going to toss, including a cam. And our relic is two colored, chunky, 48 of 99 Pro Bowl standout with Sean McCoy. He is in an Eagles uniform and Eagles logo on the back, since that's who he went to the Pro Bowl with. So that one will be going to the Eagles. That one is game used. Pretty cool there. Right on. Josh says he'll take a personal box too. Got you guys. Two color chunky patch. So that means we've got one single box left. If anybody wants that last one here. I'll let you guys pick the numbers as y'all caught them in the room. So Bob will get first pick and Josh will have one left. Uh, there's no need for that, Josh. Anytime, you, anytime that y'all want base from any product, it's no extra charge unless it's you know like 200 or something, a little bit extra shipping. But you sent plenty earlier for, with your goods. Um, there's no extra charge for base, man. 98 of 99. It's just most people just toss them or give them away, so it just is a waste to. You know, if I ship base for every single person, especially if this was a picker team or random team, Jameis Winston there, 98 of 99, it'd be like $5 more per spot. I'm just trying to keep the cost of the breaks down, man. It's just a lot to ship it all. 331 of 499, George Kittle for the 49ers. I was explaining that to uh, Janus earlier, too. It's no problem me tell me I want the base. And believe me, here in a couple of months, there, there won't be any products coming out that even have base there. So it won't be an issue. Mike Williams and Deshaun Watson. So, Chargers and Texans here. Little dice roll. One, two, three, Chargers. Four, five, six, Texans. And it is a three. So, that one is going to Mike Williams and the Chargers. <clears throat> and last box. 
if y'all don't mind, um, if anybody wants their base from, from this break, just let me know so I can sort it out. I know Janice says she wants hers, so I'm going to sort out her four teams. So while I'm getting into it, just let me know if, if you want them from that too, Josh. It's no problem. I'll sort out your, your team you had to. I'll be going through it anyway. But, <clears throat> Um, I'm hoping I can get everything out by Saturday, man, so that's when you'll get the email with the shipping label, with the uh, tracking, I mean. But there's no need to send any more goods. I'm just going to print one label, so I just need that one. And I can actually print multiple labels off that same payment, so if you get anything in the next few weeks, you can just send gifts to be fine, send me some money. I can go back and print off that same goods payment several times. Most of these guys that are regular to the room, like Bob and, and Jesse and Joel there, Rocket Fan and stuff, they send me one big payment every couple of months, and I just print 10, 12 labels off that same one. I just want to do the 119 friends and family, that'd be great. Save me like four bucks. I see no point in PayPal getting, getting all that extra money for nothing. <laughs> All right, Hugo. Remind me again here, buddy, right after the break. I'll probably remember now that I said that, though, so I can pull it out. Put your name on it. Oh, I hear you. I hear you. Well, hopefully we'll still be around when you get back, buddy. Come hang out with us again. It's good to talk to you the last couple of days. I know how that is with my other buddy Brad. And feel free to hit me up anytime. I'll be chilling. But yeah, she, uh, it might be, it might take an extra day or so since it's going to Hawaii, but what I try to do is try to send stuff out. Either Saturday, or if I can't get it out by Saturday, Monday morning, first thing. It's always my shipping days. Unless somebody requests something sent immediately, I can always send the next day if there's some reason. I have guys that go out of town or whatever, have me hold their packages so they get, get back. I accommodate whatever you got going on me. <clears throat> but she'll, she'll probably get that package, uh, I'd say, probably an extra day. Probably be uh, Thursday next week. Chris Spillman. We have not seen one of these. I told you I felt like there was a vet autograph somewhere in here. The 21 of 49. This is such a cool, cool design. Got me. There's like some kind of like flaw in the card, I guess that is. Who has the lions in this break? We got a little. Uh, Ding corner on the top right. I don't know if I can get this to show up on camera. It almost looks like it's like maybe that's part of the card. I don't know if this part that goes through Spillman is there. I gotta go see what I'm talking about here. It's like there's a design in the card of this part that goes through the card, but then there's like this extra part that runs down through Spillman that looks like it's not supposed to be made that way. It looks like that may be a production flaw. He has a nephew, I think it is, that was a rookie last year. Chris Spillman. It's pretty neat there. Top right corner. Well, actually, like all three corners are a little, or all four corners are a little weak on that one. Cool ass design. I think that's a flaw in the card. This goes through Spillman there. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It's like a little bit of a flaw there. I don't think I've ever pulled a Chris Billman autograph. He was a beast. 
But we still got a pen pal and a relic here. Three thirty five of four ninety nine, Gerald Everett for the Rams. Cordria Tankersley, 99 of 149. I've got Brad and a couple other people that have mentioned that they would be interested in doing a full case divisional if anybody else is down next week. Cordria for the Dolphins. I think a full case would be fun on this stuff. Just pricey. Landon Collins, man coverage for the Giants, non numbered. And Spellbound, speaking of. Tom Brady, the A there, Ooh, 21 of 25 on that one, a little change there, does not want to focus on me, <laughs> but it is 21 of 25, it's the, uh, I want to say that's a copper parallel, it's more copper than gold color to me. Family Ties, Michael Bennett. Maybe it's bronze, probably, is what they're calling it. Michael Bennett and Martellus Bennett, family ties. That one is numbered 13 of 299. 1, 2, 3, Seahawks. 4, 5, 6. Packers. That is a 6, so that one is going to the Packers. Yeah, that was a really cool looking one. Joe, I thought you'd fallen asleep on us. For the Cowboys, Jordan Lewis, 84 of 99. Ricky. I bet Corey probably went to bed by now, too. He's been quiet for a while. 86 of 99. Le'Veon Bell. For the Steelers. Oh, I know exactly what that's like. You know I do, Joel. A lot of times with these headaches I've been having, dude, if I, longer I look at the computer screen, the worse it gets. It's weird. The TV doesn't do me that way. The computer screen real quick. Jerry Rice, non-numbered. I totally understand. And here's our relic for the Colts. Pretty cool patch on that one. Three color, Robert Mathis. 49 of 99 Pro Bowl standouts. Three color. That one is player worn, it says. He may have not actually played in the Pro Bowl, though. A lot of times these guys don't actually play. It's from an older, older jersey than the one in the picture. <coughs> man, I feel you, Joel. I understand, man. 188 of 499, Chad Hansen for the Jets. Thirty-one of one forty-nine. James Connor for the Steelers. Tidal waves. Drew Brees for the Saints. Non-numbered. Kevin King, three thirty-five of four ninety-nine for the Packers. Fired up Russell Wilson. That's pretty cool. I don't think I've seen that one yet. Got a crazy look on his face. 36 of 99 on that one. Last little stack here of the break. Julio Jones, Spellbound. We've seen a bunch of those in the six boxes. 166 of 299. And we have a, another random here. Eddie George. So, Titans and Ezekiel Elliott, Cowboys, Ohio State, College Ties. No number in there. One, two, three. We'll go to the Titans. And it does go to the Titans on the one. I don't think we've seen that one yet. Out of all these boxes, still pulling stuff we haven't seen out of the product. That's pretty cool. It's one of the reasons why people like Contenders so much. Such depth to it. And the last autograph. On card pen pals. Good luck, everybody. Is a black ink. Jamal Williams. I haven't seen that one yet either. For the Packers.
If anybody else wants their base out of this break, please let me know. I'll be going through and uh, pulling Genesis for her. I know I, uh, Jesse asked in one of the other breaks for bucks, one each. It was just a Mike Williams and a... James Winston, I already pulled those for him. If anybody wants any of the base out of this one, let me know so I can pull it when I go through it here in a little while. I haven't forgot about you guys that want personal boxes. We'll do those here in just a minute. 76 of 149, Jonathan Stewart. Yeah, the trades did turn out pretty even. That's not always the case. Toss those two bases that are all bent up. Raekwon McMillan. 30 of 52 status for the Dolphins. And Solomon Thomas, rookie elitist, non numbered. So we didn't have anything to randomize in this case. Uh, I did top load right out the gate this 2 of 15 Dalvin Cook. Pretty cool there. Alright, Bob had the. Bob had the Eddie George part. He said, Give that to Ray. So he's a Cowboys fan. I switched that over in stacks. That one will be going to Josh. Let's recap our relics right quick. I didn't top load these just for a second time as we were going. I'll get all these and the numbered inserts top loaded here in a little bit. We had a three cutter, 49 of 99, Pro Bowl standout Robert Mathis, player one for the Colts. Sean McCoy, two color, 48 of 99, Pro Bowl standout, going to the Eagles. That one was game used. Non numbered elite coverage, dual jersey, Derrick Henry for the Titans. Andrew Luck, Pro Bowl standout. That one is player one for the Colts. Tony Dorsett, Pro Bowl standout. Non numbered, game used. And three color, 20 of 25, Brandon Cooks, going to the Saints. Saints logo and team name on that one. You can know he is. Already on the Patriots on the regular cards in this set. Jamal Williams on card pen pals for the Packers. Chris Spillman, a little bit of damage on that one there. 21 of 49 impact impressions. Cool ass design though for the Lions. 8 of 25 turn of the century. Mike Williams for the Chargers. Nice one there. Samaj P. Ryan, really good one there. Pen pals for the Redskins. Another nice one, Zay Jones, 83 of 99. Broke all kind of college records. East Carolina last year. Turn of the century autograph for the Bills. Another Bills hit, Nathan Peterman. Crazy looking autograph. Don't know anything about Mr. Nathan Peterman. He's a quarterback. Uh, turn of the century, Katie Cannon, 29 of 99. Wide receiver for the 49ers. Evan Ingram, on card pen pals for the Giants. Chris Godwin, on card pen pals for the Bucks. Corey Clement, 50 of 99, jersey number inscribed, turn of the century autograph for the Eagles. Uh, 26 of 99, turn of the century autograph, Jonathan Allen for the Redskins. And Dante Foreman was the first autograph of that break on card pen pals, running back for the Texans. I'm going to stop the video, guys, and I will be right back. Island is a break, son. Egon.